individual play, but not just doing the same thing you've been doing for five years. Well, we're into it, chaps. It will be screen playing for Fnatic here, their debut in ETS Season 6, up against the Mighty Phase, who've got Nico calling now. Uh, a little bit of uh, flux position for them. Not really sure which way the team is heading, but Guardian seems to be in charge here. The PT-50 working out very nicely for him to kick things off. JW goes down, and it will be an A-side attack here from Phase. Just twist to defend. The newly signed Sniper up against it now as uh, Scream will try and back up from the short area. But you can see Phase being very tentative with their approach, and rightly so, as they find the second kill. There's not a good start here so far for Fnatic, getting caught off guard on the rotation as well. Rain defending around middle. It seems impossible to get in, and indeed that's the case. No this is... Uh, Completely like fresh this. start for us. Have you guys watched any games on the new patch yet? Is this the first one? Obviously, Henry, I've been playing it. You've been playing it, so maybe you can describe how you've uh, seen it go down well, in the next round. I think at the moment, um, a lot of people are going to be going. I feel like if the T side loses the pistol, depending on the map, we may be more likely to get a force buy. If you've got a, a close quarters map like Inferno, maybe some Mac 10s. Holding here, as it looks like a fast P play will be developed by Phase. Going to be existed of Ben, drops the smoke to try and buy himself some time as the flashbangs rain through. And it looks like he might be in a lot of trouble. The Mac 10 will open things up. The smokes are perfect. This is looking perfect for Phase, as JW has to make a play through the smoke. And it does work out for a couple of kills, not quite. Gets the dink, but Nico will come out on top. It's a four versus two with Twist and Crims. Surely you have no chance of a retake here. Yeah, looking like the save is going to have to be the play surely. Crims is still trying to poke his head in through short, though. There's so many players to peek him, so he's going to be really cautious here. And indeed, he's going to back away in the end. And Twist just trying to hold these players in, trying to make sure they can't escape, but Karagun will take him down. So only one gun surviving, and... As before, because if you lose that and you go to your buy round, you're going to have more money than you otherwise would. Whereas, I think if you look at the margins, um, in the current situation where you eco and you start with less than you would otherwise have, it might end up being worse for some particular teams, maybe t depending on the map as well. So I think that'll be interesting going forward. Lots of uh, data to mine. Now this is getting dangerous for FaZe as Rain and Nico are heavily tagged and three pistol players remain. They know where one of them was where he took Twist out. Now this has been spotted. Really wants the AWP, but he can't quite reach it. I think he can be patient and go for it in a second. Let his teammates run distraction. But Rain is watching for it. Well, that should be the round. As I say that, though, there is a PT-50 kill from JW. Remember, no armor, no kids. But now they do have the AK-47. JW starts to creep towards the steps here. I think he might be out of luck as Carrigan is above him. And Scream, with less than half health, doesn't really have much hope to do much here. But considering they got three kills on the Eco, it's not too bad to be able to buy up next round, presumably with the AWPs as well. Here's Scream just trying to find one more, if possible. Desert Eagle in hand. Anyone going to peek him? It will be a chance of a kill here, but it looks like it might just be going against him. We'll have to fall back as he wants to at least keep his eagle. It's not going to happen. Nico will take him down. It's going to be like a decent start now for Fnatic. Good kill in return coming from Nico. Dodgy smoke there. Oh what? my goodness. He's pre firing the corner around the side. That's beautiful. Beautiful there. Able to make it work. Two versus two, though, as Nico still lurks, being such a nuisance. Oh, he's got this nailed, hasn't he? Guaranteed kill, takes down Twist, and they know Crims is stuck in the kitchen. Uh, so he'll hold the AWP, hoping that a mistake is made here, but they can see the bomb making his way through the underpass all the way towards A. Is that a cheeky little smoke? It's a flashbang. So uh, we're going to try and get the bomb down in a nice covered plant. Make sure it can't be exposed from shorts. That's obviously the danger area. And it will be perfectly done for FaZe here. This is looking so good for Fnatic. And Crims almost has no chance here. Here's a minimal. That should be guaranteed. Oh, he got a shot off. It's more than you could ask for. And uh, yeah, I, th I think like statistically it's going to be interesting to see um, if there is an edge for the T sides because of the extra money given to a CT side when they lose a pistol. <laughs> I think that's really curious. If you're more likely to start 4 0, then. Do <laughs> it with an eagle. Ooh, almost gets a couple kills, but fortunately, nothing there. But the scout and the maneuverability of it might be good here to finish off the softened up players, of which now there's two remaining after that kill from Crims. Yeah, there's a chance there. Sure there's AK available, but the screen can't connect the dots. Crims can, but he finds the healthy player out of the three. Leaves him in another pretty much impossible situation with the weapon he has. No armor, no nades, no kip. Three kills to find. If he had the AK at this point, maybe there's a chance, but just having to spam wildly at this point, hoping to take one more player down with him. Don't think it's going to happen, chaps, and FaZe will extend their lead to 6-0 here. In the first map of the day, we have eight oh. to bring you. That's not bad. 
I'm not sure he could ask for. It's kind of a smoked out, and indeed the bomb as well. They can just go for a full deep use there. I don't think that he's even have a chance to deny this. It's over. Oh, oh, what? Well, Nico now. That's one player in the red, and Exist is going to get taken out. Can he find the right angle of a scream? Absolutely, he oh can. God. Oh, that is wow. a colossal win for Faye. Through, and they haven't probed towards A at all, so they're going to walk into the stack, and there we go. A combo from Scream and Exist there. Nico found himself in hot water here. The Deagle keeps connecting, but so do the AKs. Three on three, Scream still alive and looking dangerous. It's a fun setup. Normally, if you bounced a flash out the window, it wouldn't have flashed them from the position they were holding. But now Scream is gone. He smoked like a kipper. Twist and Crims remain. There is the high ground, though, for Monsieur Crims. And he takes off an AK-47. Default plant for Carrigan. He's standing on the site for the time being. This could still really fall to pieces. That's a huge frag. He knows one's on the site. Nice pre-fire for Crims. Now he's got to run distraction for Twist with his lowly USP moving up the short position. Going to take him a while, though. <gasps> Oh, that's a free kill. There's not enough men to cover all the angles. Now Kagan's the one versus two. You know the shorts players pushing. Crim's still in the window. Gone. And now Kerrigan has some advantage. However, Ooh. never mind. It exists with the kit as well. Nobody coming in. That screen dropped first. It just we hit the insta kill there. Maybe there's a chance, but once again it's phase. Picking up the round and twist saving the AWP. They're gonna have a third stage loss bonus. Which will be twenty four hundred dollars. Two plays in B, so we can just focus on this. And Rain spots one in connect. Oh, nice from Rain with the P2000. Oh, that's crispy, isn't it? And it's going to be JW finding the first kill for Fnatic here. Looks at the pincer towards B. It's real. Only two players up, though. Make it one. Scream left is four players to find. Not looking as crispy. He does get one before he goes. Good stuff from Nico. Takes down Scream. First duel one. You can see this terrorist now actually in a lot of trouble. They have flashbangs only. No other utility to speak of, but they have got frags. JW has ever working his way through the window area. Ooh. Takes out Nico, gets himself on the ledge here, looks towards short. Perfectly done. <gasps> Olaf, though. He might know a few of his tendencies, but looks at things. He's good, isn't he? Yep. Ready for that. Played a JW for many years. I'm sure he's seen that maneuver a few times. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that move from JW. It's a great option after getting the kill from a repositioning standpoint. And Carrigan will defend again. He's been having a pretty good game. 17-9 at the moment is Carrigan leading the way on the fragging four phase. Oh dear. They heard the rotation of Guardian, but they waited. I was going to say they waited too long, but apparently not. Twist showing his skill. Rain, though, has taken the bomb out, and now Twist has a lot to do in 12 seconds. Yeah. So a bomb plant looks very unlikely in this situation. Can he try to force somebody out though? He knows they want to stop him from planting the bomb. But it seems to find hold on to his AK. Will he get around the corner? One second, 20 HP. Good. That was unlucky for Fnatic. There is a, they tried to do a pop flash for that position, but it got hit on the table support. It didn't do its job. Olaf Meister holding on a short position now, and maybe that uh, failed flashbang will change this entire round. So nobody fighting through the flames before he, the, the peak is predictable. Scream doing scream things, and now we're in a three versus two all of a sudden. Molotov, but Rain will make his way through it. Did they hear it connect with him? Scream taken out, trying to plant the bomb. Now we've got two versus two. All of a sudden, it's back in favor of FaZe. Rain forces away from the HE. And he will deliver the last kill. Then. Broadcast while reading that out. Forgive me for not having every <laughs> single detail while you read it while not talking. Henry's like four man TMZ. Yeah. <laughs> Fast mid aggression coming in from FaZe, working out pretty well so far, the deep smoke. It's really cool how common that's become. And uh, in the meantime, the response from Fnatic was to take the space given to them with that mid aggression from the CTs. The A bomb site was up for grabs, and that's what they are pushing on towards so far, but it's proving labored. Still have to beat out Rain on the stairs position. Doing some good damage to the bomb planted in the open. Rain will have more jewels here as Nico's opened up as well, and the health on the remaining players is. Very poor here for Fnatic, so a struggle to see them make this one work. Oh, for the lineup was happening once again, but JW able to steal one away and just gets into safety in the nick of time. They got two smokes there. One should be used to ramp on for the bomb. They should be absolutely fine. But there's only one kid available. They can somehow 
go Carrigan. That would be great, but there it is. That should be it. Now the defuse is there. Nico covering it. Got to find a 14th round. They have a huge advantage here for Fnatic. Off the back of that first pick. Molotov towards spawn. This might be a save already, but all off my stuff. He'll get one back. If Guardian can do the same, they might be onto something here. Oh, or maybe not. JW taking all of Meister out. There's a bomb planted. Which is pretty cool. Very brazen play from Crips. Again, Guardian trying to hold on to what little he has available. Can be a hell of a lot for FaZe. God, he's so good, isn't he? He's so bloody good. Just gets everyone. <laughs> he made it. Spots him. Capitalizes upon it. Does get another AWP here. Guardian. Presumably nails this shot though. Crims wrecks through the wall. And now it's a five versus three. This will be the first eco victory for FaZe so far. He knows you don't stand there. Everybody jumps past that angle. He's got him. They're locked in. All off my stuff. Gets one in the back. This could be a clean sweep on the eco. Scream. Five versus one. FaZe looked out of it. But a couple of decent plays from the FaZe individuals have found themselves a bit of luck. Finally, with the pistols. And Scream it goes down as well. He'll get one consolation kill here. 30 seconds remaining. Can't really do much of this whatsoever. Sort of frag as many players as possible. Deny them picking up rifles as well. Win. This next kill is absolutely everything. If Carrigan goes down, maybe there's a chance. Could happen, but not quite. Exist will be dropped. As they commit towards B, Olaf gonna hit it. That looks like it might be it. Four versus two, but still JW finds the secondary frag. Time ticking away. Crims will have to wait for him. CT still with the advantage. Oh, did he hear a reload? He knows one's there, but if you peek over, it's a very advantageous spot for the CTs. Creating a distraction now, and in comes JW. He's got to trade 10 seconds to get the bomb down, though. As FaZe know it, Flash comes in, it's perfect. JW, oh, delayed again. Can't quite find it, and he's now screwed completely. That 16-14 FaZe will deny the comeback right at the end after going up.